Hey guys, what's going on? Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball, and today I'm going to do the new Empire Axe 2.0 programming video for you. Alright guys, basic functions. What we're going to do to get this in programming mode, we're going to press and hold the trigger, turn the gun on, it's going to flash a bunch of crazy different colors at you, and then it's going to go back to a solid red color. You can scroll through the actual programming modes, I'll kind of go over th those with you right now. Red is your firing mode, it has four different values. Number one value is semi-auto. A number two value is your NXL ramping. Number three value is your millennium ramping. And the number four value on the red color is fully auto. Next, I'm gonna pull the trigger to get to my green. Green is gonna be your max rate of fire. You can change it all the way up to 20 balls per second if you'd like. Next, click the trigger again. And I'm gonna see an amber color. It, this, in my opinion, is the most important color. I usually say that all the time because this is your dwell color. Amber is only for the Empire Axe 2.0, not any other guns, but this is the dwell. And this is set stock at 8 milliseconds. So a lot of guys that go through to change their gun, please do not change the dwell. It's going to have solenoid issues for you. Next color is going to be a flashing red. It's going to be your debounce. It's going to be flashing on and off, on and off the red color. The next is going to be a flashing green color, and this means it's ball in place. This is, you can actually program this time uh, how long the ball will stay in the breech of the gun before you can actually shoot it or be allowed to shoot it. The next is going to be a flashing amber color, which is your ramp start. So this basically, the flashing amber color is going to, you can set this color to, do you want your ramping to start at one trigger pull, three trigger pulls, five trigger pulls? It's up to you. It comes stock at a three trigger pull ramp start. And the lastly, it's a fast flashing red, which is your ramp sustain. How long do you want to be able to sustain, to sustain that ramp for? All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the original just solid red color, which once again is your firing mode. It has four values and uh, you can... Press and hold the trigger in to see what it comes stock at. So I'm going to press and hold the trigger on the red value. And it flashed only one time back at me, indicating that the mode or this gun is currently only in a semi-auto mode. So it flashed all the colors to save that to let you know. So this is what we're going to do. I want to change my firing mode into a NXL ramp. Press and hold the trigger. It's going to blink back at you the one time it already did. And as soon as it does that, click twice, one, two, and then let go. It'll flash a bunch of different colors to let you know that that number two value was saved. And that number two value, like I said, was your NXL ramping mode. And then you can scroll through, obviously, all these other ones we've already gone over. Um, you can see that this gun is still in programming mode. I'm going back to the initial red. Hold the trigger down twice to see if it saved. One, two. It saved, it's still in the NXL ramping mode, everything's good to go. Now there is a factory reset on this gun. If you get in too deep, while in programming mode with the tournament lock off, you can press your power button, you can press your trigger, hold for five to six seconds, and then the board will flash red and green, and then it will shut off, letting you know you did a successful factory reset on the board. So once again, guys, I hope this quick programming video for the Axe 2.0 helps you. Never mess with the dual setting. And the red, uh, solid red is always your firing mode. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. Kobe.